welcome back and in this video we're going to go over choosing a brush and some of the different things that you can do in regards to that uh, usually when you open painter um, as most of you know it's set to the real 2b pencil this brush is tiltable um, and uh, pretty interactive and I actually use it quite a bit um, you can choose a different brush by going up here and clicking this of course and you have all these different categories of brushes that are um, preloaded into your painter uh, some of these I've installed extra if you don't see them in your own and then in that category you can choose what brush so if I choose airbrushes and then come over here there will be lots of different airbrushes and you can see the little um, dab if you will across here and you can kind of get an idea of what kind of brush that that is and usually you can t kind of tell whether it's a tiltable brush or just a straight on brush like this and the other thing that you can do is when you choose one of these brushes let's say I really like this sprinkle airbrush right here and I really want to keep that in my palette so that I can work on some on some other stuff and then come back to this brush later I can hold the shift button and drag this out into a custom palette and then if I choose another brush I like even from a different category I can also drag that out here too um, this way I can keep all the brushes I like in one area that I can select from rather than having to go back up here and pick that brush again I usually arrange them this way and you can shape this and I like to put them just right over here and bring this down as far as I need or the other way you can bring it out this way and make something that long um, but it's also just kind of nice to just have that off to the side rather than in front of where you're painting or making strokes in case you need to zoom in and you have your canvas take up quite a bit of your workspace so that's good to keep in mind uh, also before using your brushes go to edit preferences and brush tracking this is really really important for you to set up because everybody has a different stroke and if I just put down here for example if I like to use my graphics tablet pretty heavy and if I like to make a very hard stroke I would put in there a nice hard stroke and it would calibrate in there that I press hard and it would make all of my brushes my brushes react to that or if I was very delicate with my brushes I would do something quite delicate and as you can see it would change the pressure sensitivity so that it knew to make it so that all of my brushes are very delicate and sensitive to my stroke um, one thing to that you can also do is you can open go to window and brush control panel and you can go to brush calibration down here and just do it for that particular brush that brings up my next point is that as you find brushes you can actually bring open their particular settings and and kind of play with them this as you can see is just the settings that are most standard to play with with this brush of course you can go to window and you can open all these different other things if you'd like to play with them um, some of them don't apply to the brush but things such as smoothing or size or grain dab profile which is right here uh, they do apply to this and so you know go and if you if you open the, you know you can do whatever you would like to and close back out uh, but these are the most common things that you'll need right here and not much else will actually affect your brush but I can affect the spread of this brush for example you can see this changes my brush dramatically or the flow um, I actually kinda like that it looks like chalk and from there you can start experimenting with your brushes and kind of having that same reaction to making your own so that is um, kind of the basics about choosing a brush and customizing it and if you really want to reset it you can go up here to the brushes tab and hit re restore default variant this restores it exactly to what it was before that you started playing with it but if you wanted to save it you can hit brush export don't get these mixed up import is when you want to bring a brush that you've saved in export 
than the particular brush. So that's how you would export a brush. But again, don't get these two mixed up. I have before. It's not always pretty if you get them in the right, or should I say wrong combination. So again, that's all I know about choosing a brush and um, calibrating your uh, Wacom or whatever graphics tablet stylus to your pressure needs. I will see you in the next video.